Young people with obesity have had limited pharmacotherapy options. Semaglutide, a glucagon-like peptide-1 analog, is approved for weight management in adults with obesity. A new study examined its efficacy and safety in adolescents. In this Phase 3A multinational double-blind parallel group randomized placebo-controlled trial, 201 adolescents with a body mass index in the 95th percentile or higher, or in the 85th percentile or higher, with at least one weight-related condition, were assigned in a 2 to 1 ratio to receive either subcutaneous semaglutide at a dose of 2.4 mg or placebo once weekly for 68 weeks. All participants, as well as their parents, received lifestyle counseling. The primary endpoint, the percentage change in BMI at week 68, significantly favored semaglutide. The mean BMI dropped by an estimated 16.1% in the semaglutide group and increased by 0.6% in the placebo group. The secondary confirmatory endpoint, a reduction in body weight of at least 5%, also favored semaglutide. In terms of safety, gastrointestinal disorders occurred more often with semaglutide, including nausea and vomiting. Cholelithiasis occurred in five participants in the semaglutide group and none in the placebo group. The authors conclude that in adolescents with obesity, once-weekly semaglutide plus lifestyle intervention led to a significant reduction in BMI at week 68 as compared with lifestyle intervention alone. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.